And you know what Mr. Ailey used to say to us sometimes to get us to snap back? I would love to know. It's just a dance. <laughs> but it was to get you to go, hey, you have the privilege of being getting on a stage and getting paid for it and dancing and going around the world. Exactly. You know? Dancer Kalia Campbell reads a thank you note to her icon, Judith Jemison, the dance legend who inspired her to face anything. Dear Ms. Jamison, when I was nine years old, I started my formal dance training. That's when I started hearing the comparisons. You remind me of a young Judith Jamison. Then I saw a picture of you performing in Cry, the piece that brought you worldwide fame. Tall, dark complexion, long, stunning arms, and striking features. I saw myself, and I became hopeful about my own future. I know I'm beautiful now, but as a dark complected black girl, I struggled with self-esteem. Kids would tease me about my big features, but one thing I didn't know was that I could dance. Doubt started creeping in when I got to perform in arts high school. I knew I had a God-given gift, but the technical aspects of my dancing just weren't there. I found myself gravitating toward the back of class, where I thought if I messed up, no one could see me. At 21, I started as a scholarship student at the Ailey School. You were the Artistic Director Emerita at Alvin Ailey, a National Medal of Arts, honored at the Kennedy Center, honored by First Lady Michelle Obama at the White House, a legend. One day, sitting in the theater, watching my peers rehearse, you placed your hand on my shoulder and asked to speak with me in your office. I was nervous and shocked. When we got to your office, you asked me a question. When you're in class, why do you stand in the back? You said Ailey created this space for us so we can be celebrated and feel safe. You have no idea what you did for me that day. You inspired me to face my fear, to conquer my insecurities and get over it. Three years later, I was asked to join the main company at Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater, a huge accomplishment. You put me on a mission to become an example of black excellence. Thank you, Ms. Jamison, Kalia Campbell. Well, <laughs> it's all true. <laughs> it was important for me to see you excel because you were pulling yourself so far away. You know, we already did the back of the bus. Come on now. You're not in the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater to run that trip again. Yes. You're here to shine, and you've picked up on that so beautifully. How do you feel now about the challenges that, that you still face? The insecurities can creep in of trying to please everybody, or what would people think about me if I don't have this step? When I would hit those, those walls, I would surround myself with people that I knew could shift my thinking. I'd mm. seek them out. Now when people say to me, when they saw me do a certain dance, cry for instance, and they say, you are fabulous. Years ago I would have said, thank you, <laughs> oh thank you, da, da, da. Now I say, you're right. <laughs> I was, you know. Thank you so much, Ms. You're Jamison. Welcome. Uh, you're your welcome. nurturing spirit and just everything about you. Thank you, thank you for just being you. My pleasure. Come on. Thank you.